The Innovators Network. Welcome to the Killer Innovation Show, the longest continuously produced podcast in history. Each week, Phil McKinney brings you the insights and strategies to amplify your creativity and innovation skills. Here's your host, Phil McKinney. Welcome to this week's show. This week's show, we are going to make a very special announcement. Something that a number of us have been working on together for quite some time, and we are very, very excited about it. So I'm not going to reveal it here in the intro. We're going to jump right in and get into this week's episode. But before we do that, don't forget, follow, like, and share. Follow us on our social media channels, like this episode, and then share it. Share it with others, especially based on the announcement that we are making here today. So without any further ado, let's jump in to this week's episode. This episode is sponsored by Zoom. With Zoom, you can streamline your communication, collaboration, and creativity all in one place. Zoom is the market-leading platform that provides video meetings, voice, webinars, and chat across desktops, phones, tablets, and conference room systems. To learn more about Zoom and sign up for your free account, visit KillerInnovations.com slash Zoom. As we discussed in our show a few weeks ago, innovation journalism is one of the essential, if not in my opinion, one of the important types of journalism in the modern world. So, why is this so important? I'm now dedicating a second show to this topic. It is critical that journalists explain and communicate change that is occurring today or will occur in the future from innovations. Otherwise, if journalists fail to do this accurately, timely, Society will not be ready to adapt or be prepared to address the risks that come along with the change that innovation brings. Innovation journalism is currently in a state of crises. It is not prepared to do its job of keeping the public informed about innovation. The problem is is that there are not enough journalists who understand how to report on innovation. In the previous show, I talked and addressed the issue of how few journalists come from a technology, a science, an innovation, change, the future. There are very few, far fewer journalists today focused on that area than we've ever had in the history of the media or the news. The term innovation has literally become a PR buzzword used to sell products and ideas that are not actually innovative or are Buck Roger types or misrepresent and are biased. This overuse of the word has led to a general lack of understanding about what innovation truly is and its importance to society. To rectify this, a new type of journalism is needed one that is focused on explaining innovations and their impact on people's lives. We need innovation-focused journalism. Now, while we could wait for others to step up, we've decided to take matters into our own hands and launch the Innovators Network. The Innovators Network is a new type of media organization that will focus on innovation journalism. We have founded the Innovators Network on the belief that innovation is essential to addressing the world's most pressing problems. We, those of us that have come together to launch the Innovators Network, we have a passion for investigating and explaining critically and clearly the true stories of innovation. We believe that understanding the stories behind the innovations can empower readers to make informed decisions. Now, what do we mean by innovation-focused journalism? Innovation-focused journalism is about the stories of people and organizations 
who are creating and using innovations to solve problems in creative ways. We believe that great innovation journalism should be, one, solution-oriented. It should offer readers concrete solutions to problems using innovation. It's not just republishing the press release or the marketing materials for some new Silicon Valley startup. It's about telling the whole story, the good and the bad, while also sharing the problem the innovation is trying to provide a solution to. Number two, human-centered. It should focus on the people behind the innovation and how it's affecting their lives. We believe that understanding the stories of the people involved can help readers connect with the innovation on a personal level. Human-centered also means understanding the impact, the impact on society, both good and the potential risk, the potential bad from innovation. Human-centered journalism around innovation is critical for individuals to be able to make the best decisions on what's going to affect them. And last, it has to be actionable. It needs to provide readers with information that they can use to make decisions in their own lives. We believe that innovation journalism should be more than just entertainment, that it has the power to change the world. Our digital media platform for the Innovators Network will shine a light on innovation in all forms, whether that be articles, interviews, podcasts, and videos, on a variety of topics, including but not limited to health, transportation, energy, education, food, manufacturing, and tech. And through our approach to innovation focused journalism, we will tell the true stories of the people and organizations behind the innovations. We want to inspire our readers to become agents of change and empower them with the information to make an informed decision about how innovation can affect their world. Simply, our mission is to reveal the true stories of innovation. Now, to ensure the quality of our content, we've already attracted support from leading contributors such as Emmy Award winning journalist Kim McNicholas who was instrumental in the formation and launch of the Forbes digital video platform, one of the first digital video business news sites that ever existed. All of my content will now be available in one place on the Innovators Network, besides the sites where it's currently published and will continue to be published. But we will focus on the content being delivered to the Innovators Network. We are expanding our network of external contributors to include journalists, analysts, industry experts, and thought leaders from a variety of organizations. We believe that a combination of internal and external perspectives will allow us to provide comprehensive and accurate coverage of the innovation landscape. The digital content platform will have three main components. Number one, a website which you can find at theinnovators.network. That will feature original and syndicated articles, interviews, videos, and podcasts, all on innovation. Two, a weekly newsletter, which you can sign up for on the website, that will curate the best innovation content. And three, the social media accounts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn to ensure those who are interested in innovation can get their updates on their platform of choice. Now, as an update, the website launches today. You can go to theinnovators.network, and there's already content going back to January of, from all of the contributors. And two, the newsletter will go out to subscribers beginning in a few weeks. And three, the social media accounts are already active. So why are we doing this? Why are we taking on one more thing? Now, while we've pointed out the failure of innovation journalism, that is not sufficient. Something needs to be done. We are passionate about innovation and its ability to make 
the world a better place. Our mission is that through the Innovators Network, we can inspire people to create positive change in their communities. In short, we are doing this because somebody has to, and it might as well be us. So what's next? We are dedicated to providing accurate and unbiased information about innovations and the people behind them. Each week, you can expect to see more articles, interviews, videos, and podcasts about innovations from across a wide variety of industries. If you're passionate about innovation and want to help us build the Innovators Network, we would love to have you on board. Reach out, drop us a note. You can contact us through the contact link in the menu at theinnovators.network. Visit the website to learn more and sign up for the newsletter to stay up to date on all things innovation. And if you know somebody who's doing something innovative, we want to hear from you. Send us an email at hello at theinnovators.network. Now, while we are doing this and we're announcing this today, we're still in a, in a progress of building out all of our cop capabilities and in discussions with additional contributors. So stay tuned, more to come, but we're doing this because we believe passionately of the power of innovation, the power of innovation for positive change, but the critical importance of journalism in telling the innovation story. So what do you think? What feedback, what advice would you give me with the announcement we just made about the launch of the innovators.network? You know, I can sit here and talk about my view of the crises of the innovation journalism problem, but we, and there's a handful of us that have come together to say, let's solve it, or at least offer a solution, a possible solution, one solution to the innovation journalism challenge that we're facing uh, with getting information, getting accurate, unbiased, both good and bad, positive and solution targeted types of innovations that are out there that can change people's lives, that can have an impact on society. So as you can tell, I'm pretty passionate about this. So what do you think? Do you think this will work? Take a look at the site. Give us some feedback. Uh, suggest stories. If you are interested in contributing, whether writing a guest post or uh, pitching to be a regular contributor on the Innovators Network, love to hear from you. Uh, particularly if you are an, in a, a journalist, a contributor, writer, author, podcaster, and you're focused in an area that would be interesting for uh, our uh, for the listener base. So go check it out. If you're interested in being a contributor, make sure you go down to the footer of the main page, and there's an ethics guidelines uh, um, URL link. Click that and read through that page. It talks about what we stand for as journalists, as content creators, to and represent to our readers and fans. So take a look at that. But if you're interested in being a contributor, just drop an email to hello at theinnovators.network. Hello at theinnovators.network. N-E-T-W-O-R-K. You got to spell out the whole word network. Okay, check it out. We'd love to, to have you participate. And again, nothing changes. Killer Innovations, the blog over at philmckinney.com. Uh, all of that stays the same. Nothing changes. But the Innovators Network will be the one site where all of my content, but content coming from other contributors, will all be aggregated. It'll be the one place where you can get anything and everything related to innovation. So check it out. Love to hear your feedback. Thanks again for joining us this week. Next week, we've got some great content coming down. Can't wait to get that recorded and get it published. But until then, work on your ideas, create those innovations, and go change the world. Bye-bye. Podcasting nonstop since 2005, this has been the Killer Innovation Show on the Innovators Network. 
This show is distributed by the Innovators Network. For more information and other great shows and content, visit theinnovators.network.